Well, back here in Lagos, the governor, Babajide Sorolu, says the person who will succeed President Mohamed Buhari should be able to continue from where he will stop next year and put in the work required to make Nigeria a truly unstoppable force among nations. Sawolo stated this today during the inauguration of Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tenabu movement in Lagos. Plus TV Africa correspondent Love Ikukoye Dokun reports that Sawolo also enjoined everyone to get their PVCs and vote right in the coming election. It's not a campaign, neither is it a carnival. Rather, it is the inauguration of the Working Committee for the actualization of the presidential ambition of the national leader of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu. The movement is set up to mobilize support across the country for Tinubu ahead of the 2023 general elections. Mandate, we shall stand on your mandate, on your mandate, on your mandate, we shall stand. Speaker after speaker bring to the fore the qualities they believe Chinubu possess for the job. The real work is to get Ashiwa Jubola and Tinubu first as the flag bearer of our party. And then to get him installed as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We all know for sure that when he came on board, Lagos State was generating like six hundred million per annum. And he brought in his expertise. And with that, right now, we are generating over 30 billion naira every month. In his keynote address, tagged Choosing Rightly to Serve Nigeria, the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawunlu expresses worry over the myriad of challenges bedeviling the nation, but holds strongly that the man Nigeria needs to take over from President Muhammad Buhari must be one capable of changing the narratives. That person is the true person that we believe can help us ensure the legacy that our current president will be leaving behind. We'll take it to a level that will be new light and new heights that we've never seen before. That person is Ashura Jubala and Nathanubu. He charges members of the ABAT committee to go out and encourage the people to obtain their voters card to be able to exercise their franchise. Let us go out there and encourage our people first to ensure that they have the ability to vote, to cast their vote. Let's go out and ensure that they have a voter's card so that they can be part of the next journey when we're conducting the election next year. Sawon Lu maintains that the choice of who becomes Nigeria's next president is critical and mustn't be left to speculation or Permutation. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Oyedoku, reporting for Plus TV, Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.